most people that get that heavy are really suppressing, sad, well, they're suppressing emotion, you know, yeah. they're using yeah. food as a drug, <coughs> yep. and they're using feeling good from eating food as a substitute for feeling good inside. And what really gets me is running across somebody big like that, and the next day you know they're a fucking mess head of crack. How do you be a mess head of crack that would be that big, man? <laughs> That's my shit. So any time I did either one, I turned up skinnier than a fucking toothpick. Yeah. And wasn't eating. <laughs> well, after a while, the uh, food isn't enough. You know, well, the food is. isn't 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 doing it. So they move on to harder stuff. Food is the gateway drug. <laughs> there was something on one day discussing this and that, what well, this called to that and this and that. And then one person spoke up and said, Are they sure that cigarettes cause cancer? Can they? They're not real sure. You tell hell, everything causes cancer anymore. You sure cigarettes are one of them? Well, it takes both parts. You have to be genetically susceptible to cancer, and then <laughs> all of the things we do that they say cause cancer are ways that you can activate it. Not. No one's ever said every single person that smokes a cigarette is going to get cancer. No. Nobody's ever said that. I know people fighting cancer and then they're just cigarette in their lives. Exactly. I know people that have died from cancer that and didn't that smoke. Me, and they're sure that. Supposed to asbestos. Supposed to asbestos. Yes. Well, all the years I was driving in the military, I was breathing that diesel smoke. What does that do? I'm not good on my lungs. Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky. Yeah, how would you like it, buddy? You wake up every morning and all you can do is smell diesel. Diesel fumes. Diesel exhaust. Living in the tank. Yep. And the military did a lot of that. They used a lot of diesel. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Just about everything they run off fuel sometime. Once they made up their mind, they went back and forth for a long time about gas and diesel. And here, well, the last, probably, who knows how long, so many years they were working on a formula to make fuel from methane gas. Well, look at Deshman Ball. Yep. All, their, all their landfill equipment uh -huh. runs off any kind of fuel made from methane gas coming yeah. off that trash they bury. That's right. Uh, that's smart. What's the name of the According to Kelly Blue. Shawnee Rock and Grab. Yeah. They're definitely the super same people. Yeah. Well, that's how they run all their trash and stuff in the landfill in that rock car. Runs off methane gas from the landfill. Good idea, I guess. It's a damn good idea. Well, if we're going to be hearing smart ass a lot between now and Christmas. Remember when you couldn't say ass on TV? I know it, man. Fucking, they want to throw you in jail for it or something. <laughs> What the fuck, man? What? Well, been one day I was down here, man. They'd public television the show day in and day out, and they come up with words, fuck, shit, and everything else. And that one program. And they get buy that on regular TV? Yeah. I guess they go by with it. Public TV, yeah. They'll let you know up front. I like watching that station quite a bit on the weekends. Yeah. Channel 19. Got all the television. Got PBS, all the, the nature shows. Nature, Nova. Well, a lot of it's National Geographic, but it's wild, a lot of show, yeah. Yeah. That's Stephen Reichland. 
Too, but it's a blend. By flavor. Yes. I got to get some footage of that Sunday school bus that comes by. I mean, you notice the difference? between the regular school buses and that Sunday school bus? The Sunday school bus usually only on Sunday. Yes. About yes. exactly what time? Between Sometime between 8.30 and 9? I think it's between around... Eight and nine. It's around 9 or 9.30. Yeah. But, it's, but have you noticed the shape, the condition of that bus? Oh, it's no. Fairly old. When it gets old, that you know, sell them to a church or donated to a church to use for Sunday school route pickup. Yeah, well, because they're no longer safe to use for school. Right. But before that church uses it, they have to have that good brace on, everything work on, you know, as far as the light. I suppose. A little safety sign that flips out and all that. But Although it looks the bad. Is, the church has never put that stop sign now. But yeah, and the whole, uh, the, the one that comes by here, the whole top is rusted. Rusted? Just rusted. Yeah. Pretty much covered in rust. You need and to sand it down. See how good the metal is on top. Put some kind of primer and stuff on top, keep it from rusting. Top, keep it from rusting. Well, they won't do that, though. Have you noticed all the other, the, the newer school buses, they're all white on top now? Yeah. For reflecting. That's some kind of coating, though, like bed liner, so that stuff don't rust out so quick. And it reflects light. Yeah, yeah. they paint grow out of gray like that. So that yeah, they paint grow out of gray like that, so that sun will reflect all through it. Yeah. And they're all clean and shiny and bright. And they're new ones. Some of them run off natural gas. Some of them do. Whatever it well, takes to make it. <laughs> did you hear about the... <coughs> <laughs> natural gas fueling station they put in in Afghanistan plus we have the infrastructure to distribute it not like Afghanistan where they didn't have any infrastructure they said it was going to cost five hundred thousand dollars to build this natural gas vehicle refueling station the army built it you know, in Afghanistan, they said it was going to cost half a mil. It cost forty million dollars. Forty million. And you know how many natural gas vehicles there are in Afghanistan? Zero. It costs. How many y'all putting here in the states? Man? Yeah. Just convert yeah. automobiles over to putting natural gas. Yeah, they're doing it here. But here we got a method to distribute natural gas. They don't even have the pipelines and shit there. You know, we could put yeah. natural gas all over the country right now because we got well, pipelines. All there is is just hole dug in the ground and nothing out there. <laughs> they found the oil when they dug, you know, drilled the hole. <laughs> yeah. They got all kinds of minerals in Afghanistan. They got tons of gold over there. But no vehicles with natural gas. It takes seven thousand dollars to convert a vehicle so that it runs on natural gas. And the average uh, Afghani yearly income is sixty nine hundred dollars. <laughs> yearly income? Yeah. Sixty nine hundred. They're really, they're really poor over there. Yeah. Well, certain parts of that country over there, some of them deep desert land, they don't ever get snow, it's just hot all the time. Yep, and they got no electricity, so they got no electric bill, they got no phone bill, they, you know. 
attack. No, we're we need to full of ore. <laughs> oh, not so much. Now they have to get water somewhere. Yeah, no, they, they got they got clean water there in the mountains. They don't have factories and shit polluting them like they do here. No. Yeah, much cleaner than the car, that's for sure. Cleaner than the conk. Can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way cleaner. <coughs> well, for all you can drink out of it once for just nothing. Yeah. They got these new straws now. Have you seen this? Have you heard this? They got these new straws that you can like have a glass of muddy water, stick the straw in, and it's got the filters, and you can just get filtered water right you out of it. You get the water out of it, and it all comes out filtered. Yeah, comes right. I'm in the straw, man. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. it's a, some kind of filtering system, but it takes all the crap out. Joke is missing a punchline. We'll have to work on that. Fifty thousand. That's a lot of people. Appreciate the buzz, man. It's also the number of people. Glad I could do it. We've contracted HIV every year since 2003. But the thing have to get psychologically, philosophically prepared to go to Walmart. <laughs> I'll just ride up there with you when you go, man. You can protect yourself. That's cool. Tammy doing laundry this morning. I can go by your hair. I hear ya. And together, we can turn 50,000 into zero. 